everybody, my name is Sportsboy28 and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your uh, goalkeeper gloves. So cleaning your gloves is very important because it gives them the tackiness back on the latex and it also makes it so they don't have that terrible smell and you don't want to be the goalkeeper on your team with the terrible smelling gloves. So here's how you do it. So you need about uh, 10 centimeters, not even, of water in one or two um, buckets or the sink or anything you have and you could use uh, one but then you just gotta empty it into a so it's easier to use two different um, sinks or something like that a bucket so you soak the gloves in the water to get all the sweat out you do that and then you can have laundry detergent or dish soap whatever you have and you lay it on the palm of the glove, oops that was way too much and you just massage it in to the um, latex and this will get out all the dirt as in my gloves it's the turf stain because I live in Canada and it's, um, it's snowing outside so we can't play outside so we have to play indoor on the turf so you just keep on massaging it and this does take some time you can do it while you watch TV, you could do it while you watch uh, YouTube videos or whatever you want, Netflix. And you just massage the latex, as you can see it's, it was that color and now it is this color. So you just keep on massaging it, as, and as you do that you can do dip it in the water, and just whatever way you want. This does take some time, so it takes about 25 minutes, so um, I'm going to put in a time lapse. So you guys don't have to watch a video for 10 minutes. Now that I have all my gloves washed, you can see all the dirt that was left over, dirt and sweat that's in the uh, sink now. So there you are, this is my training glove, and this is my game glove, which you should have, so then you're not overusing the one pair of gloves, and uh, they start to rip like that, and you don't want your game gloves to do that, so you make any stupid mistakes and let in uh, easy goals, which you don't want to happen if you want to make it to a higher level. So this is why you have, so now you could like pull the plug and uh, fill this one up again, but to save time, you can have another, another one, uh, this one is a little bit hotter than this one, but not much because you don't want it to be oh, You don't want it to be too much of a of a change or it will uh, Kind of affect the latex of your glove. So now that you have that you Grab the gloves that you've already washed which of course you're gonna have a little bit of stains left in them You're not gonna get every single last thing, but trust me it does help a lot and once you have that out, um, you got to make sure after you're done washing it, you squeeze it out. So then you get all of the the sweat and dirt and soap, most of it out. And then that's what this one's for. So this one, you press it in there. And when you press it in there, you're uh, waterlogging it and everything. And then you uh, you make sure wring it out hard. Get out all the extra soap. You don't want to have the soap in there. Uh, after it will dry weird and everything. So you squeeze it out, you gotta get all the soap. This might take like two or three times you gotta do this. And then, so, squeeze it out. Yeah. So then you have it like that. And you should squeeze out, try to squeeze it out. Don't worry about ripping your gloves or anything, just make sure you're squeezing it hard. Trust me, I do this uh, a lot. You should do it every maybe one every th three to five training sessions or games because you don't want your gloves to um, be stinky and smelly and you, it really helps with the grip of the ball when you do it like this. So I'm going to do that with the rest of my gloves and I'll see you in a second. I 
gloves clean. And now you just gotta hang them up to dry over top of a sink or something, or over top of a rack. So you, um, they dry. And make sure you don't, make sure you don't do this within one to two days in between, uh, before your training session. Uh, or if you do have it, like training every day, do it right after your training session so then you get at least most possible time to dry your gloves because you don't want them to be wet going into practice. So I have all my gloves clean right here and I'll go hang them up to dry and uh, that's about it. So if you liked the video, if it was helpful, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new, if you want to watch some nice um, all sport videos and uh, comment if anything, if you know that I should do to um, help my gloves and everything and uh, I hope you enjoy.